Hello and welcome to Hakista TV. And I have to admit that on my last Flipper bad USB video that I was wrong. Because Flipper can be used remotely and I will show you how. The first thing that you have to do is install the Flipper mobile app. Now once you install the Flipper mobile app, what you have to do is make sure that your Bluetooth is on. And when it is on, you have to click connect. So it is now connecting. And let's go to the settings of our Flipper Zero. And click Bluetooth, then turn it on. Once you turn it on, our Flipper mobile application should be able to see our Flipper Zero. And now you can control it. The Remote control function is hidden under options, experimental options, and that is screen streaming. Now, we will try to do a bad USB attack with this. As you can see, now I can control the Flipper Zero using my phone. Now, we'll just close down the key flipper because we cannot do any bad USB attack with it with QFlipper running. So let's just close it down. And let's control it by a Bluetooth. The problem with this is that it is very slow. There is a certain lag. If you can see at down below, there's a receive speed and a send speed. So let's go, down, go up to bad USB. And you have to press it very slowly and check if the command that you have given is already um, is already happening on the screen. So bad USB, click bad USB. So you have to click it one by one so that you will know that the command that you were given will trigger. So one, down, wait, down, wait, down, wait. Okay, then now let's click recrawl. Okay, then we have to run it. And as you can see, the USB attack is now happening. And we can hear Rick ask. Now let's close this down. And as you can see, this remote way of controlling Flipper Zero introduces an interesting new attack vector on how you use it. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch my other Flipper video here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.